This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. All right, Richard, number one point guard in the country commits to your Arkansas Razorbacks. Cal, I think, has, I think it's seven now, number one guys that he's been able to get committed and ultimately sign with his program. What can you tell us about Arkansas's latest commit in the first one of 25? Well, obviously one of the top guys in the country. There's no doubt about it. And it's kind of, it's kind of uh, his uh, Coach Cal's ammo of uh, getting, uh, you know, uh, five stars uh, to uh, to commit and sign with him, and obviously there's a reason for that. Uh, he's, he's got a history of of doing that, along with uh, sending those guys to the league, and that's that's the that's basically the number one reason why guys uh, usually uh, go play for him. Plus, he's you know he, he, he's uh, he's a guy that uh, is very relatable to the kids and the parents, and also uh, uh, cares for him. So I, I think. Uh, all that uh, kind of plays into the you know the role of uh, a lot of a lot of the top players in the country uh, deciding to be uh, well not necessarily Razorbacks but I guess it's starting to be Razorbacks but uh, in the past obviously uh, Wildcats. I think uh, Malik Thomas is trying to reschedule his visit. Another top player. You got uh, Dubin Shaw, or however you say his name. Then you got Muldrew and. Uh, also, Isaiah Seeley. Uh, Richard, who are some other names maybe that Arkansas basketball fans should should keep an eye on for maybe winding up as Arkansas commits? Uh, well, Jasper Johnson recently uh, named Arkansas in the top five. Uh, you also uh, you also have uh, Isaiah Seeley from uh, from Springdale, who uh, will probably be making an official visit to Arkansas. Uh, uh, off the top of my head, I'm not looking at the list, but uh, there, there's more. But uh, you know, and, and keep keep one on, uh, keep an eye out on the the Bozer twins, but uh, Boozer mm-hmm. twins. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Yeah, of course, Duke's probably going to be in the uh, the top of that list, Tommy, with Carlos being a former Blue Devil. So while Acuff's commitment is big news, I thought the uh, the news out of football might be. Uh, I don't know if it's equally as good, but when you get a four-star defensive lineman at Arkansas, I know that may be just everyday happenstance at some other schools in the SEC, but Arkansas got a four-star D D lineman, Reginald Vaughn. Tell us more about this latest commit that seemed to be the highlight of a big weekend for football. Yeah, you're right, Tommy. The thing that uh, really I think uh, uh, makes it even more uh, uh, special is that he had offers from Ole Miss and Mississippi State. Arkansas doesn't go into uh, Mississippi very, very often at all and uh, get a guy that, uh, especially a high-caliber four-star uh, prospect uh, that the Ole Miss and Mississippi State wanted. So uh, that that was, uh, I think that probably impressed me more than anything. Uh, he's he's a guy that visited. Uh, he and his mom visited back in March, and I think that really kind of got uh, the wheels in motion for him to be a Razorback. I think that they instantly stood out after that March visit. They, had, they visited uh, Fayetteville for two days, and, and he and his mom just uh, fell in love with Arkansas. Then he made an official visit uh, in June. And uh, and so that, that that is a big pickup, like you said. Not, not only did he had, uh, you know, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, he, had, uh, he accumulated offers from LSU, Georgia, Penn State, Texas, uh, Auburn, Florida, Tennessee, and, and, and others. So uh, this is not uh, this is not a, a just you know hey it's a good pickup. It's it's a great pickup just for, from that standpoint. Man, uh, great great kid. You probably noticed that I I don't go to too many uh, out of state commitments, but uh, uh, this young man and his mom are just 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 outstanding people, and and they, they uh, you know they they lost their uh, dad and fa- uh, and husband back in uh, October to a heart attack and, and just the strength that they've shown uh, through this. And I'm, I'm sure they still have their moments uh, in the grieving process, but uh, I just can't imagine uh, being a young man at his age and, and losing a parent. And so I, I just, uh, I, I just, I, I wanted to be down there and, and I'm glad I did. I mean, he, he just, I, I, I knew that he was an outstanding young man, but uh, just a quick story. His coach uh, talked about uh, uh, Reginald, and uh, he went to Reginald one day and wanted to uh, speak to uh, some middle school students. And he said, Coach, yeah, I, you know, I'd love to, but I really don't want to talk about football. 
uh, that's you know that's that's part of me, but that's not all of me. And and he he, he talked about life and and, and other things uh, that uh, obviously is you know pretty much more important than football. So I, I, I was thinking, man, here's a 16, 17 year old kid thinking that way. I wasn't I wasn't thinking anything like that at that age. Yeah, sometimes it takes loss to gain perspective, and it sounds like that was uh, uh, the story you're trying to tell there. Yeah, well, you know, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know if that was uh, after he lost his father or not. His coach didn't uh, specify, but uh, he, he is uh, he is a, an extremely uh, mature young man and a guy that uh, is, is very, uh, very strong in his faith, and uh, I think that obviously helped him and his mom uh, when they lost, lost his dad. Richard Davenport is our guest this morning, a couple days early with the recruiting news. Richard, you also had Hog Wild Hangout this weekend, which a couple of these commits kind of came after that. What, what can you tell us about maybe some of the details that with the, went on with Arkansas's football coaches and, and, and program and some of the other guys that also committed? You know, I, I accumulated a list of uh, more than 50 guys, and I counted, and I might have missed one or two, I don't know. But they had at least uh, 15 four stars on campus on Saturday. Uh, out of the 15, it, it was an impressive list of kids. And uh, one of the quarterbacks is a 26 quarterback, Javon Gilmore from uh, South Carolina, six six, about 190. He's uh, he, he's narrowed his list down to Arkansas, Virginia Tech, Louisville, Texas A&M, and, and North Carolina State. That that was his first offer, and uh, I mean first, first uh, excuse me, first visit to Arkansas. And uh, it went very well, and uh, I, I don't know, uh, I don't know if he's going to be a Razorback or not, but he's going to be making a decision uh, uh, on Wednesday. So that's that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, T.J. Hodges, a four-star uh, uh, running back from uh, Mark Tree, uh, also visited and had a had a really good visit. Uh, he and uh, Kobe Smith, uh, the running backs coach, are very tight. But uh, then you had some uh, good-looking uh, defensive uh, linemen on campus too. Uh, you had Anthony Kennedy from uh, Mall Mel, 6'6", 280 uh, pounds, 26 class, who's a, who's a four-star. Jordan Harris, uh, also from uh, Mall Mel, probably one of the better athletes in the state. Uh, Abdul uh, plays uh, basketball and football, but it looks like now, it originally looked like he was going to play basketball, but I think now he's going to play, uh, play football, 6'6", 220 pounds. A uh, guy that uh, had uh, s- some offers in basketball, but uh, Arkansas, Missouri, SMU, and others have, have offered him in football. But uh, a very productive uh, day uh, for recruiting uh, on Saturday for Arkansas, obviously, with the commitment and all those kids visiting. So you had some good basketball news, good football news, and that's why we wanted to have you on a few days earlier. Richard, we appreciate you jumping on with us, and we will talk next week. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V your 50 percent welcome bonus on your first deposit bet online where the game starts